Bonjour, mes amis. Hey, friends. Welcome back to another edition of Anyone Can Speak French. Yeah, it's been a while, and I'll tell you why. I just bought a new house. Kind of kept me a little busy there. How do you say that? I just bought a new house. Je viens d'acheter. Remember that lesson? Je viens. I come. De. From. Je viens d'acheter. I come from. In this case, acheter, which is to buy. Je viens d'acheter. Une nouvelle maison. Une nouvelle maison. What's that? A new house. Remember, house is feminine. So we have to use une with nouvelle. Remember, there's nouveau and nouvelle, which is the adjective for new. Um, so, une nouvelle maison. Or you could say a new car. Uh, une nouvelle voiture. Let's think of something masculine. How about a suit? En costume. En costume. Costume, like a costume, that's a suit. Or complet, which is also a suit. Same thing, it's masculine. Un nouveau complet. Je viens d'acheter un nouveau complet. Or je viens d'acheter un nouveau costume. Got that? I just bought a new suit. I didn't. I just bought a new house. But I'm just saying, in case you wanted to hear it with the masculine tone. Okay, moving on. Today's lesson, I'm going to bring in something that could seem a little tricky. And um, we've been doing this for about a year now, so I think we're ready. We're actually going to introduce another tense. Yikes. No, no, no. It's really, really easy. It's called the conditional. Um, and in English, we also have the conditional tense. Um, but it's really, in English, a mood um, more so than a tense, um, because to form that mood, we use a word. Would is the word. Like, if it snows in December, I would like to go skiing before Christmas. If it snows in December, I would like to go skiing for Christmas. So, the I would part is the conditional. It's based on the condition that it snows. Now this can get very complicated. You can put things in the past. Um, but anyways, we're just going to focus on the, the very basic. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it even easier. We're going to say the expression, if it pleases you, which of course is s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. It isn't s'il vous plaît. There's actually S apostrophe I-L, which is if it. See, that's contraction, if it. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think that s'il vous plaît means if you please. No, it means if it pleases you, which is going to be our condition, if it pleases you, I would like some coffee. Very easy. We all need some coffee, right? S'il vous plaît, je voudrais un peu du café. S'il vous plaît, je voudrais un peu du café. If it pleases you, I would like a little bit of the coffee. Pretty easy, right? S'il vous plaît, je voudrais de l'eau. If it pleases you, I would like some water. Voudrais is the verb vouloir in the conditional tense. It's very polite. The conditional tense is also known as the polite tense. Um, and this is a perfect example, uh, starting with the condition, if it pleases you. S'il vous plaît, je voudrais... Une nouvelle voiture. <laughs> if it pleases you, I would like a new car, is what I just said. So, that's just some very basic exposure. I think in the next couple of lessons, we're actually going to expand on this. But I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, how is it made? Well, we picked a vouloir, which is irregular to begin with. Um, so that's 
in terms of creating it is not the best example, but it is used so frequently, uh, je voudrais, that um, I thought I'd throw it in there. Aha, we can just as easily use the verb aimer, which is to like. And we would say, j'aimerais, s'il vous plaît, j'aimerais une nouvelle voiture. J'aimerais is literally, I would like. Je voudrais is literally, I would want. It means the same thing as I would like. You can use them interchangeably. I use the verb MA to explain how to build this tense in the first person singular. Basically, you just start with the infinitive MA and you add the sound A at the end of it. In this case, aimerais, j'aimerais une nouvelle voiture, une nouvelle maison, un nouveau costume, s'il vous plaît, j'aimerais un nouveau costume, I would like a new suit. Pretty cool, right? So you see how it's built. Now, of course, we've just built it in the first person singular, but that's because that's the one that you're going to be using the most. And really, um, at first, the only time you're going to be using this tense is when you're trying to express, express a sense of politeness for wanting something. You could go to the post office and say, s'il vous plaît, j'aimerais des timbres. I would like some stamps. Um, and then at a restaurant, un monsieur, s'il vous plaît, je voudrais... Un verre d'eau. Un verre d'eau. I would like a glass of water. See, it's so polite. Instead of just saying, Monsieur, je veux un verre d'eau. I want a glass of water. That's so rude, you know? So you just say, Je voudrais. It's so much more polite there. J'aimerais un verre d'eau. J'aimerais le filet mignon. I would like the filet mignon. Or. Okay, you're at like a more casual restaurant, like a TGI Fridays. Monsieur, s'il vous plaît, j'aimerais le barbecue pizza. <laughs> See? Or, um, desserts. Have we ever discussed any desserts? Ah, uh, s'il vous plaît, j'aimerais un peu de crème glace. Crème glace, what the heck is crème glace? It's ice cream. Crème glace. Glace is ice, and crème is cream. So, cream ice. S'il vous plaît, j'aimerais un peu de crème glace. Pretty easy, right? Or, uh, s'il vous plaît, je voudrais un gâteau chocolat. Gâteau chocolat, what is that? That sounds wonderful. Gâteau is cake, and chocolat, <laughs> duh. You know, French is the same as English, right? <laughs> In this case, it's very similar. All right, you've got it. You can practice it, right? Next lesson, we're going to build upon this idea of the conditional tense. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make them tougher, but that's what I'm here for, right? In the meantime, keep practicing in the car, in the shower, whenever you're by yourself, whenever you encounter a native French speaker, you use them. You take the opportunity to practice with them. Who cares if you sound like an idiot? You won't sound like an idiot. You know what you'll sound like? You'll sound like somebody who's taking an interest in someone else's language, which I think is very flattering. Let me tell you, whenever I encounter somebody that is not proficient at speaking English, but tries to speak English with me, I'm very patient and flattered at the same time that this person who grew up not knowing my language wants to learn it. It's pretty cool. So go ahead, go out there, meet people who know how to speak French and practice with them. They might correct you, they might not, um, but you shouldn't let that stop you. Just grab the bull by the horns and go for it. Bon courage, good courage. Okay? Au revoir.